Hello, my name is Alice, and I would like to welcome you to this demo on 2D world building with SpriteShape. If you haven't heard of it before, SpriteShape is one of Unity's preview features which makes it easy to create complex and organic 2D environments. It works by tiling sprites along spline paths defined by the user. If you've ever used tile maps before, you'll find that sprite shape is aimed towards a similar goal. However, where tile maps are better for more rigid and pixel perfect environments, sprite shape allows you to create almost any kind of shape. If you've ever used Photoshop, you'll find that sprite shape works similarly to the path tool. And if you haven't, that's no issue. I'll demonstrate it in the editor and it will become crystal clear. So why use sprite shape? First of all, it's very visual. There is absolutely no requirement to be able to write any code to get started with sprite shape. But of course, it can be enhanced with code too. An example of this has been shown at Unite Berlin, where a script was used to attach an object to a node on the spline. As you can see, when the spline moves, so does the object. Finally, it allows your artists to spend less time on creating iterations of the same assets and focus on more important work. In this demo, I'll make sure to get you well acquainted with the general sprite shape workflow, so that when you leave, you can start confidently creating your own environments. I will also show you how you can prepare your sprites for use with sprite shape by using the sprite editor, another of the newer Unity features. I will show you how you can easily generate colliders for your shapes with two clicks. And finally, I'll give you a short demonstration of what can be achieved with scripting. So without further ado, let's get into Unity. What I've got here is an empty scene and some assets that I've pre-imported into this project. The assets I will be using for this demo are from the 2D game kit and you can get them yourself from the asset store. Before I move on, let me show you how you can get sprite shape for your project. Like all preview packages, you can get sprite shape using the package manager. Go into window, package manager. In the alt tab, you will be able to find sprite shape and other 2D packages here. I've already got sprite shape in my project, but if you didn't, you would have the installation button right here where it says remove for me. First, let me tell you a little bit more about how sprite shape works. It consists of two main components, one of which is an asset and the other is a game object. The asset, which is called the sprite shape profile, is used to define and store information about a particular type of shape, instances of which you will create in your scene. The game object is an instance of that profile in which you control how your shape looks and behaves. So, let's begin with creating a sprite shape profile. If you right click in the assets window, go to create, sprite shape profile, you will see three options. The only difference between these is the predefined angle ranges that they come with. I'll explain angle ranges in more detail in a second, but let's just start by creating a strip profile. We can now edit our profile in the inspector window to the right. As you can see, the strip profile comes with one predefined angle range, which covers how the sprite is displayed from all angles. Each angle range determines which sprites are rendered when your curve is facing that particular direction. A setup with only one angle range means that the same sprites will be rendered regardless of the angle of the curve. Let's go ahead and add our first sprite to this shape. Under Sprites in the Inspector window, we can add or delete new sprites by clicking the plus and minus buttons underneath. To assign a sprite to one of these properties, we can use the circle on the right. I'm going to use the bridge sprite from the 2D game kit. Our sprite is now assigned to this angle range. I can now demonstrate to you how you can create a shape that uses this sprite. For consistency's sake, I'm going to rename this asset to something more readable. With our sprite shape profile selected, if you go into the hierarchy window and right click, go under 2D object and create a sprite shape, you'll be able to instantly create a shape which uses our selected profile. If you've accidentally created an empty sprite shape or you would like to use a different profile, you can go up to the inspector window and under sprite shape, you'll be able to select a different profile. The sprite shape renderer acts similarly to a normal sprite renderer. You can select your desired materials, mask interactions, 
the sorting layer, and set the order of the sprites. Now the sprite shape controller is where it gets more interesting. If I click on Edit Spline, you will notice that my scene view has changed, and I can now see two nodes on my spline. With these nodes, I can control the shape of the spline, and I can also add more nodes by simply left-clicking anywhere on the shape. You will also notice a set of options for point mode. We are currently in what is called linear mode. Setting a node to linear mode means that two straight lines will be formed to each side of the node. The other two modes are tangent modes. Selecting one of these modes will form a curve running through the node. Just like so. We can then use the pivot points to control the shape of the curve. It is worth noting that when you're selecting point mode, you're controlling it for a particular node on the spline. In this instance, the outer nodes of our spline are both in linear mode and the middle node is in tangent mode. This node is currently in what is called the mirrored tangent mode. However, there is also the non-mirrored mode. The difference between these is that when you rotate one of the pivot points in non-mirrored mode, the other pivot point stays unaffected. However, if you were to be in mirrored mode, moving one of the pivots affects both. Using a combination of different point modes on the same spline allows you to create any shape you want,